What was it that drew you to the idea of recording and looping sounds? I was doing a lot of work at the San Francisco Tape Music Center and at home with just a couple of cheap tape recorders, wall and sack tape recorders. A way to kind of expand the sonic horizon in those days, which was, you know, fairly primitive. Loops were one of the few things you could do which, you know, would be uh, noticeably different than what you would be doing with instruments. And also running ta magnetic tape by hand, uh, so running the tape across the tape machine with using just uh, different speeds. There's something that attracted you to the idea of repetition, obviously. The fact that you could uh, make a sound fairly stationary and yet it would progress slowly just because every time the tape goes around it seems to change or at least your, the relationship of your consciousness to the tape would change so that you start hearing maybe deeper into the sound. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, tape loops were going in showing me that there was something about stationary music or static or vertical music that would be uh, a new experience. And it seems like that idea of stationary music for you was a way of creating one point that would kind of have a cycle, but falling into that cycle would allow you to be in a wider space, perhaps. You know, it was a different way of listening for me. It was a way of going deeper into the sound. I also found that I became interested in the noise of these tape recorders, cheap tape recorders, and the noise of the sound buildup as you would, uh, you know, as you add layers of sound. That became fascinating to me because it became a subtext to the actual music that I began with. Mm -hmm. And it would also like kind of disintegrate into this kind of grainy, these grainy textures that had little ghosts inside of them. You know, <laughs> inside of them. You know, <laughs> inside of them. You know. <laughs> that became very mystical for me. That became a really mystical experience to listen deeply into these really things where you just kind of hear voices that weren't there uh, in the music. Yeah, fragments, yeah. pieces, Yeah, molecules. and for each listener it would become a different experience. It would depend on how deeply they could listen into the texture. 